And of course, you don't just generate these moving charged particles that give the radio signals here within thunderstorms within the atmosphere. There's a plentiful supply of them from outside, raining onto our atmosphere all the time in the form of what we call the solar wind. This is a picture of the sun's sur surface, the southern hemisphere, and UV light. And I hope you get the sense of matter streaming off away from the sun's surface. The sun is giving off this solar wind of highly charged particles all the time. It spreads out into the, between the planets and forms the interplanetary medium. And it interacts with our atmosphere. When it does, we get the northern lights. This is a picture of the northern lights seen from the space shuttle. What happens is that those charged particles, a lot of them are deflected by a magnetic field, but some actually get funneled down, especially around the poles where the magnetic field comes in and is very much stronger. They come in, they collide with molecules of oxygen, nitrogen in the air. Those collisions are what provide this sort of luminous glow that we call the northern lights. But those charged particles, again, moving through a magnetic field, they also create a natural radio signal. So when you see aurora, again, very low frequency receivers can turn the sound, um, turn those signals to sound. So this is the sound of aurorae here on Earth. And there are all kinds of other signals. There's one called the dawn chorus, which sounds like little birds. Instead of that sort of noisy chatter, it's little birds tweeting. You get all these kind of radio signals for the interaction from the solar wind and our magnetic field.